Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me today. Today I'm going to be doing a travel mini haul before we head off to Copenhagen. So if you want to see exactly what we've got to prepare for our trip, then please do stay tuned. So of course, for any of you who do follow my channel on a regular basis, you will know that all I have spoken about recently is my trip to Copenhagen with James. We are so excited. We're now finished work. We fly out tomorrow and we have got so much to do before then. But as with everything, it's worth it in the end. And obviously the day before or the night before travel is always a wee bit stressful and so we are in the midst of putting everything together, but of course I thought it would be great to show you guys exactly what we're doing, what we're taking with us, and I also have some really new purchases to show you as well in the form of clothing. So please do stick around. I hope this will be at least nostalgic or interesting for some of you just to see what we take on holiday with us. And it may be good if you're going on holiday soon just to see if there's anything worth buying or looking out for. And at the same time, if you are not going on holiday anytime soon, then please do just enjoy it anyway. Um, and so yeah, let's get into it. So any trip, of course, would not be perfect without a bag. And I do have a few different types here that I'll just go over with you quickly. So what we've done is that we have purchased two of these sort of clear bags, one for me, one for James. Now the plan is, is that we will use these for our toiletries. So we'll have one each. Um, we did just get these on Amazon. They were cheap. I don't know how much, but they weren't very expensive. But again, there is still a current 100 ml um, per item sort of like volume allowance that you're allowed on planes at the moment certainly within the UK um, I know that that is changing in June and so the current guidance does stand but all, all airlines we're flying with Ryanair but all our airlines are uh, recommending that you check um, you know on the website for sort of like country of travel and all these other things but I know that that is going to change in June I'm not sure what it's going to change to but I think from memory something in here is telling me that there will no longer be a 100 mils um sort of like limit so yeah obviously we'll need to see how that goes but it won't affect us for our holiday coming up in May um so yeah we'll just see how how things pan out so yeah as I said we've got two slightly larger ones one for me one for James and then I have this one, which I've had for a few years now, but I will keep this just for makeup only. Now, I don't wear a lot of makeup. I really don't. So generally I wear foundation, blusher, bronzer and mascara. And I will have either a sort of like lip tint or like a lipstick. So I'll probably just take one type of lip sort of like stick or colour with me on holiday and all of that will just go in there. Um, I do only wear those very few products on a day-to-day -day basis. The only extra makeup I'll ever wear usually is if I'm going out maybe for dinner, I'll do a little bit more contouring, um, but I don't generally get acne or anything like that so much anymore. And so um, I don't really need concealer and things like that. Um, so yeah, that's our little bags at the moment. And of course they're see-through, which security at the airport does still require. Um, so I'll pop these down. Before I get into the next stage, I do have a few, a few items here that we did get on Amazon. Now we're not affiliated with Amazon. We don't have any codes or discounts or anything in that way, shape or form at all. But what I will just do is say, if you are enjoying this video or by the end of the video you have enjoyed it, or you've enjoyed other videos that I have put out recently, then please feel free to subscribe. It doesn't cost you anything. Obviously the travel content that we're doing right now is new for us. It's new to the channel, but very much is something that we want to develop. So any feedback is welcome. If you are already a subscriber, I want to take this opportunity to thank you so much for continuing to subscribe. We have had quite a lot of new subscribers join us recently. And so I am very grateful and it is a huge welcome for me from, from me to you, from the, for the channel. And obviously I'm so grateful for all of the support that you give me. And of course my viewers, if you are watching this video right now, you're incredibly important to me. And I am so grateful for everything that you do to help me reach more and more people. I have to also take this opportunity to thank my members. If it wasn't for you, giving me the inspiration from your own weight loss and lifestyle journeys, then I certainly would not be as inspired as I am right now to make this content for all of you at home. So thank you so much. So as I said, I've got two really important purchases here for from Amazon. Now they are in two different colors. 
So this is James's bag and this is my bag. So of course purple is my favourite colour, if you didn't know that already, you do now. And the lid's just opened up, so yep, yeah, that's it there. Um, so yeah, purple's my favourite colour. However, we wanted something really sort of standout-ish for James. And so that's why we went for the yellow one for him, just so that they're easily identifiable. Um, on the flight that we're travelling to Copenhagen on, we are just doing these bags only. We're not carrying sort of like hold luggage or anything that needs to be checked in. We are just taking these bags on and they are Ryanair approved for the sizing and everything like that. Um, they do have quite a lot of sort of space and different package sort of areas in them for putting stuff in. So you've got your sort of meshy netted areas here. You've got some adjustable straps that you can tie stuff down with or you can let your bag expand a little bit more. Um, you've also got a front package with lots of little, little bits of sort of compartments, zips, etc. as well. You've got some more mesh areas inside so that it's really easy to get to your items that you really need, such as your purse, your wallet, your passport, etc. as well. And um, you've also got some external zips and things as well. So it is called Cabin Max and it is a METS recycled edition established in 2007. So basically what it is, is that it's a 20 litre bag and it is 40 by 20 by 25 centimetres cabin backpack dimension. And um, yeah, it does say our bags are made to last, but when your journey with this Cabin Max bag comes to an end, if it still has life in it, please reuse it, pass on to a family member or give it to a local charity shop. So I think that's really good because they are thinking about sustainability. Um, and we also have a sort of cushioned handle on it as well so that it's comfortable if you are having to carry it and of course we've got our straps here which do have little sort of um, loops on them as well for if you're wanting to tag anything onto them. Um, so yeah really looking forward to using this. There is quite a bit of space inside obviously there's lots of different compartments and we've obviously not started to pack yet but it will not take us long so the plan will be is that i will take my bag and it will have all of our clothes in it for the duration of our trip and we are packing light by the way um and james will have his bag here which will be used for all of our um, recording equipment, our camera equipment. Um, you know, we'll have our microphone set up, we'll need some chargers. We are taking the MacBook on holiday with us as well so we can edit while we're away. And we are also going to be taking our iPad so that we can watch some TV. Um, so the plan will be to download some still game onto the iPad and take it on holiday with us as we usually do. If you don't know what Still Game is, Still Game is a very, very much classic, cult classic Scottish comedy um, show. It was a TV show, um, however, it's no longer running. No new episodes are currently being made, but James and I absolutely love it. And I'm sure if you are Scottish or you enjoy Scottish comedy and you do get it, then you will know about it and you'll understand why we're taking it on holiday with us because it is such easy watching, but it really is very, very funny. Um, so, yeah. We're really, really looking forward to using these bags. To be honest, I've never travelled abroad with as little luggage before um, in the form of a bag. Um, but hey, it's it's a, it's a, you know, it's something that we're going to need to try is what I'm going to say. So anyway, I've got some toiletries here just to run through with you guys as well. Um, so I did pick up some antibacterial hand wipes are always really good if you're out and about um, and I did get some simple cleansing wipes as well just so I can take my makeup off at the end of the day and it's quite quick quick and easy um, we also have a little mini Colgate um, toothpaste so this is like the one we use in the house but this is just the mini version um, so again we've had a few of these to take abroad and they do last quite a long time so we'll probably use it this time round we'll keep it all sealed and then we'll take it on holiday with us to Tenerife because we will not use all of that up um, you know in the time that we're away um, we also have Palmer's Cocoa Butter uh, Moisturiser, which is a really nice size. Again, everything here that I'm going to show you guys is 100 mils or less in keeping with the current um, airline guidance for travel. Um, but I love the smell of this. It just, it reminds me of holidays, but it's just, oh, it's just so good. Just that 
cocoa butter chocolatey type smell. Um, if you haven't used Palmer's before, I would recommend it. It's really gentle, it absorbs really well, and I've got terrible dermatitis on my hands right now, so it will definitely, definitely work a treat on my hands. So yeah, that's that. James has some head and shoulders. Um, he does like the men's version of head and shoulders, and so he uses that all the time. But we did manage to get a 95ml little mini version of that for him. And that's obviously shampoo. Um, and James does have sort of like longer hair on the top and sort of like faded in at the side. So he's off to get a haircut tomorrow morning first thing and he'll do that whilst I drop Rocco off at Kennels. And then because of his slightly longer hairstyle on top, um, he does use hairspray to keep that all in place. And it's much more user friendly than gel and sort of putties and things like that. So anyway, James has tried this out over the last wee while and he has enjoyed using it. And so this is a great size for taking away. And this is bang on 100 mils. We also have the Dove Men Plus Care, uh, which is body, face and hair wash. Um, so this is for James, so we'll take that away as well. And this is a 55 mils uh, little container, which is quite, quite mini. Um, we also have some more Dove products. So this is a Dove Men Care Plus uh, or Plus Care Advanced um, Antiperspirant. So James will take this on holiday with him as well. And that's a 75 mil uh, tin. We also have the eSpa Fitness Shower Gel, so we will just share this. Um, and this was part of a gift set that I got James at Christmas. So the eSpa is really, really high-end products, but this is just a miniature version of uh, what you can get online. But it does smell lovely, and all of the products that James has used recently have been really nice. So we're looking forward to taking this away and uh, making the most of it. And then come on to the last few products for myself. We've got the Nivea Black and White Invisible. Um, antiperspirant by Nivea so you can use it with black clothing, dark clothing and it doesn't leave any white marks on it and this is 35 mils and it's generally something like this that I use on a day-to-day -day basis at home anyway um, so yeah it's just a mini version. We also have the Aussie Moist Conditioner and Shampoo so we've got these here. I love the Aussie brand again the smell is just lovely I mean I'm just going to need to have a sniff of it it smells so good, so good. Um, so yeah, if you guys know what Aussie smells like, you'll know why I really love it because it's just amazing. So yeah, these are both 90 mils per bottle and obviously I won't use all of it up. Um, so we'll see what's left over by the end of the holiday. And if it's worth bringing anything back, then of course we definitely will. Um, we also have some little, just very basic little body puffs that we'll take on holiday with us. And um, yeah, one's pink, one's blue, how stereotypical of us. But anyway, these are the ones that we could pick up in, in the shop, to be honest. And they are very basic ones, um, but they'll do the trick. There's, you know, there's no problems with that. Pop all this stuff down. I feel like I'm becoming, <laughs> becoming surrounded by stuff here. Um, and what I will just say is that, yes, we are taking tooth, uh, toothpaste and we're taking toothbrushes with us. So that's them there. And these are the travel versions. So we've bought these a few times on and off, but the travel version tooth toothbrushes are great because you can fold them away. So um, even though they're out at the moment, this folds in on itself and they take up very, very little space. So again, they're good for putting in with your toiletries and things like that. And what I will just say is that James and I are coming up to almost being two years married. And before we did go on our honeymoon, which was our first ever flight abroad, by the way, because of COVID, um, our first flight and holiday was, was our honeymoon. <laughs> um, but anyway, we did get these lovely covers from Katie Loxton. And we, we ordered these just before our honeymoon and they are of excellent quality. I love them, obviously. It's Mr and Mrs or Mrs and Mr, whatever way you want to look at it. Um, James still has the Burgundy passport, um, whereas I got a new British passport issued recently and it is the new sort of dark blue navy um, sort of colour. Um, although it looks quite black to me, I'm not sure, but it's quite difficult in this light. But yeah, obviously it's the new version there. James has got the traditional sort of maroon one uh, that, that he's still got at the moment as well. So that's everything from that point of view. Now, I will just say very quickly is that we have gone and bought some new upgraded 
sort of like plugs um, for taking abroad. So they do have the adapter for Europe on the back, um, but they've also got a normal plug sort of a uh, socket there, but they've got a USB-C and USB-A um, different plug sockets on the top. And that will be really good for all of our different devices like my Apple Watch, James's Apple Watch, although his battery is excellent. And so I don't expect he'll need to charge his, whereas mine's is a little bit, older than James's. Uh, my, my watch is coming up for three years old and it generally needs charged every day and a bit. Um, so yeah, I will need to pop mine on charge, but it's so quick that it won't take long at all, but we do need to take that with us. We're also um, going to be taking, obviously, as I said, the MacBook and the iPad. We're also taking our two phones with us as well, but generally our phones are of really good um, sort of charging quality and we don't generally have any issues. But again, with everything, these little plug things, plug adapters, they do need to be upgraded at some point. And uh, we thought, well, we might as well just do it now rather than waiting to go to Tenerife and having to buy everything then. Um, so it is just a little bit, you know, a little bit of preparation in advance. And we do have an identical other one here as well. But we did get these on Amazon as well. They were really, really cheap, um, really great price. And they also come in a little drawstring bag as well, which is quite nice, just to keep them all nice and tidy. Now, on to the nitty gritty. So I did say that I have some new purchases to show you in the form of clothing. I know I did mention this in a previous video and I am so excited to show you guys what I've been able to get. Now, what I have here, some of the, I would say some, all of this stuff is stuff that I would never have ever bought or fitted into before. So please bear with me while I go through it with you. And uh, what I will just do quickly mention is the bags were $29.95 each. So if anyone is keen to know a little bit more about the bags, you can check out Amazon. Of course, we're not affiliated at all in any way, but they are a great size. They come in different colors. There are more than just two colors available. And again, even if you're not flying, they're great just for city days. You know, they're quite small and compact. So hey, let me know if you check one out or if you've already got one at home. Um, so yeah, the first purchase I would say is this. So this is a North Face Gilet. So I've never had a gilet before, apart from when I used to go to horse riding. And uh, this was meant to be £85, which I know is a lot of money, but it is North Face. It is technically a jacket. Um, it's very well insulated, although it's not too thick. But what I like about this is that it has stretchy panels on it. So it's quite stretchy around the top over your shoulders. And it's also stretchy round the side as well, so that you have a little bit more expansion so it doesn't feel as tight. Um, and I actually got this on the sale with North Face and I was able to get it delivered really quickly with Every, um, which was good. So yeah, I didn't pay £85 for it. I paid um, something between £40 and £50 on the website. Um, it is in a size large and that's just because the medium size was estimating between a 10 to a 12 and this is estimated between a 14 to a 16, but North Face, if any of you know, are notoriously quite slim fit and slim made. Um, and so I did want to make sure that I wasn't forcing myself into something too soon and it becomes therefore quite un unbearable, you know, when you're out walking about and everything's very uh, very constrictive um, and tight. So yeah, that's kind of where I'm at for now with that. And I will get plenty of use out of it because it's not tight, but it is on the more fitted side. And I, I like that to know that I'm not going to waste money buying something that very soon will be too big for me. Um, so the next item I've got here is just a very basic plain t-shirt. It is a size 14 and it's from M&S. Now it's only £6.50 for this and I know it's just a basic t-shirt, but I really like it. And I never would have bought this before. Um, as I said, with any of the stuff that I've got next to me, I never would have bought or worn any of it before because I just, it wouldn't fit and I wouldn't have the confidence. And I generally wore dark black colours, to be honest, in any way, shape or form that I could get away with. Whereas this is khaki. Um, so it's really nice. I know it's just a basic tee, but for £6.50, the quality feels really good as well. And um, I actually picked this up at the outlets, which was great. Um, so again... I can keep this for Tenerife or if I do take it to Copenhagen, it's an option. Not everything here will be worn on our Copenhagen trip, but it is just a bit of a sort of holiday clothing haul that I've never done in my life. So I hope you guys appreciate it. Um, and let me just get these out here. So this is, I love this, but first of all, it's a jumper. 
Second of all, it's by New Balance. So this is what it looks like. I hope you guys can see okay. Um, so yeah, it's like a sort of peachy orange colour. Uh, not too bright, not too pastel, but it is really, really soft. It feels really lovely quality as well. And this is a medium in size, which I did try on in the shop and I know it does fit me. Um, so I'm really happy and I just can't quite believe it, to be honest. It's quite, um, it's quite moving to just think that I can buy whatever I want to buy and yeah fit into it <laughs> um sorry guys I'm trying not to get emotional but um if any of you know how much of a struggle it is to be a size 22 or a size 24 and to literally be a size 14 now I can't tell you if you don't know how that feels how empowering that is and for the first time in my life, I'm going on holiday slim. Um, and I've never, ever, ever done that before. I've never worn colours. I've never had, no. I've, you know, I've always been worried about not fitting into the airport, um, the airline seats as well, or having to ask for an extender. I've, I won't need to do that now. And that is just massive. Um, so yeah, that's that bag done. Um, now, what I will just say is I've got the receipt here. James did get himself something from New Balance as well. Um, but yes, so the jumper should have been £24, but it was £5 off. And so it was a total of £19, which is fantastic. Um, excellent, excellent price, to be honest. So really happy with that. Um I then have a top here from the Vans shop. Again, it was the outlets. Um, so the original price for this top should have been £30 and I paid £20. Um, and that's what it looks like at the front. And that's what it looks like at the back. And as I said, you know, it's, these tops are things that I can wear when we go to Tenerife in a less than, well, less, I've said in a month, but less than a month's time. And let me see. Yep, got that receipt here for that. So I also have this here, which is also from the Levi's shop too. Um, oh, sorry, that was the van shop. This is the Levi's shop. So this is a medium, as is the other one. And yep, Levi's standard fit. And it is a medium. And this was £27 and I got it for £18.90, which again, I think is excellent. Really nice, really quite cute, pretty little top. Um, and that's what it looks like. So we've got a nice little sort of floral detailing on the front of the Levi's logo there. And just looking at all these receipts here just to make sure I don't miss anything out. Yeah, no, that's it. That's fine. Um, and this is really big for me. But these are Tommy Hilfiger jeans, jeans even. So that's them there. And they are a 31 inch waist and a 32 leg. Um, as I said in previous videos, I am between 5 foot 8, 5 foot 9. I do definitely need at least a 31, 32 leg. And so these were perfect. I tried them on in the shop. And I can't tell you how amazing it felt to be able to try them on in a full length mirror and to pull them on and to then be able to pull them together to, 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 you know, to button them up, to zip them. I can't quite believe it, but it did happen, which is why I've got these here. They are lighter than I usually would go for. Um, but all I will say is that they are the most expensive jeans I have ever purchased. Um, so there were very little prices available within the store. Um, you almost had to think, mm, how much are these? Mm, priceless. But anyway, they are gorgeous jeans. They're skinny. Uh, 31, 32, as I said, that's the current size. And my current Levi jeans, which I've not worn for a few hours, a few hours, a few days, because a, a few years, oh my God, a few years because they haven't fitted me. Um, that is, a they're a 31. And it was only just last week that I tried them on and they actually fitted me again. So again, it gives me a few options to be able to wear these jeans going forward. I have got rid of all of my black jeans. 
all of them. At one point, I think I had about 10 pairs of black jeans and I now have none. I have got rid of every single pair of leggings, jeggings, jeans, you name it, they're gone. They're absolutely gone. Um, so yeah, these jeans here were 70 pounds and I got seven pounds off a discount for becoming a member. And so it was 63 pounds for the jeans. And James very kindly bought me these as a little treat to say well done and to congratulate me for being able to buy designer jeans for the first time in my life from a shop. Um, so yeah, it was quite lovely to be able to get these and these will last me for a long time. Um, but yeah, I absolutely love them. I really do. And they're just so special. They're a really special pair of jeans. So yeah, pop these down and move this bag out of the way. And we're on to the last bag, guys. So please stay with me. I'm not long now. And that's one of James's tops in there. Pop that aside. Okay, so the second last product I'll show you guys today is this. I absolutely love this colour and this is from the Nike shop. Um, it is just the Nike tee or the Nike tee, whatever you want to call it. It is a v-neck neckline and it's not something I would normally wear but I did try it on and I really liked it. And it is a medium in size top. Now this was meant to be two, uh, £22.99 but I did pay £15.95 for it in the outlets. It was at two different outlet stores, um, it wasn't the same um, you know, shops, shopping centre. It was two different um, shopping centres but I really like the logo um, and I think it looks quite quite smart really. Um, so yeah, really looking forward to wearing this and as I said I love the colour. Um, just a really nice sort of muted pink, sort of almost nude type colour. I'm really into it just now. And of course, I had to get this whilst I was there because it's a matching set. And even if it's not a matching set and I don't wear them both at the same time, I love the colour. <laughs> so yeah, this is a jumper. Um, so this in itself is a medium as is this. So I'll just show you that there. It is a medium in size. And it was meant to be £74.99 and I got it for £51.95. But I absolutely love it. Um, to be honest, as you'll know, all of my clothing that I've bought recently has been from Vinted. I haven't paid for any new clothing up until now since probably last September. And everything that I have is second hand. Um, even my jacket that I'm wearing out and about is second hand. It's a New Balance jacket from Vinted. And my main jacket that I'm wearing at the moment is from Primark. And I bought that jacket in 2016, 2017, and I've still got it now because I can fit back into it again. So overall, yes, it may sound like a lot of money, but I have saved so much money by not spending it on food, overeating, I mean, spending it on food, and I have been able to keep some money aside to invest in myself. Of course, James was very kind of me able to get me these jeans as well because otherwise I wouldn't have paid that for them. I genuinely wouldn't. But as he said, it is an investment. You wear jeans while I do on days off from work and going on holiday and also having such a fantastic weight loss so far is worth celebrating. And if it means that I have myself a lovely pair of jeans that are not from Tesco's, they're not from Asda's and they're not from Vinted, then so be it because it makes me feel great. So thank you so much for watching this video. We are about to go and pack and then we are heading to Edinburgh tomorrow to go to Six by Nico and we are then flying to Copenhagen. So we will catch up with you guys soon. So please do take care. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you on the next one. Thanks. Bye.